Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about terminal velocity. Terminal velocity is a topic of fluid dynamics in which we will consider that when a rain fall or some snowfall is moving downward in, in the downward direction due to gravity, we will consider that all the particles are moving downward and an external force or drag force will pull that object or that particle to the upward direction. If we consider one particle in the uh, left side and we will consider that if one particle is moving downward due to acceleration due to gravity we will see that this particle is moving downward having some velocity so uh, as the velocity of the particle increases or it is going to downward uh, as much as the upward force or drag force will act on that object or that particle this is known as drag force so uh, after some time we will see that this particle remains suspended or acceleration due to gravity or weight weight of the object or particle is equal to drag force so we will consider that this particle is suspended in the air so we will need to calculate the net force net force will be the difference between weight because that is moving in the uh, downward direction and drag force is upward, upward direction these two forces are in opposite direction so the difference between weight and drag force will become a net force so when at that point when this particle is suspended in the air it is not moving upward in the not moving downward and weight and for drag force are become equal this uh, then net force becomes zero so in this relation we will see that net force is equal to difference of weight minus drag force this is known as uh, formula which is related to net force furthermore we will consider that this uh, net force is zero because this particle is suspended in the air and it is not moving anywhere in the world so where zero net force is equal to weight minus drag force which is known as FD so this drag force or this formula comes from Stokes law previously we have discussed that so this Stokes law is equal to FD is equal to 6 pi eta RV this uh, eta is a coefficient or fluid coefficient or coefficient of viscosity so we will uh, reschedule or we will simplify this equation it will become weight is equal to is equal to drag force or if we uh, open this the value of weight is equal to uh, mg mass and acceleration due to gravity and for fd or drag force is equal to 6 pi eta r v so velocity we need to calculate the velocity but we need to we, we have radius of the particle because we know the size of the particle but we do not know the mass of the particle we need to calculate the mass of the particle from some equation we know that the formula for density is equal to density is equal to mass per unit volume so from this expression we can calculate the value of mass from this expression or we can calculate by using the sum formulas <coughs> so mass is equal to density multiplied by volume so volume of the particle can be uh, calculated from expression volume of particle particle is in spherical size so its volume will, will be 4 by 3 pi r cube so we will put this value of volume in this expression mass is equal to rho or density is equal to density multiplied by 4 by 3 into pi r and cube so from the expression of weight and velocity mg is equal to 6 pi eta r v so we can put the value of m in this expression so a value of m will be rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube into this g is equal to 6 pi eta r v 
we need to calculate this velocity which is known as terminal velocity and all the terms will be will go in the other side of the equation so the final equation will be uh, we can cancel or simplify this uh, from here pi will be cancelled out from here and if we uh, simplify this it will become terminal velocity as soon as same and rho into 4 by 3 into r q into g over 6 and eta and r so this r will be cancelled out by this r and it will become r square here so terminal velocity will be rho 4 by 3 into r square into g over 6 eta so we can simplify these two terms because these are constant terms so eta into 4 into r square into g over 6 multiplied by 3 into eta so we can cancel this 2 3 and the final term for the terminal velocity will be vt is equal to 2 rho 2 rho and r square g over 3 multiplied by 3 9 and eta so the final term will be 2 rho g r square over 9 eta this is the value of terminal velocity it means that the density of particle for example or water particle snow particle any particle density is known gravity is known size of the particle is known and coefficient of viscosity is also known we can get or find out the terminal velocity from this expression this is the final expression of the terminal velocity and this topic is from fluid dynamics up till now we have finished about uh, terminal velocity and we calculated uh, with the with the graphical representation and expression of uh, formula or expression for terminal velocity we will finish here or uh, in the next video we will discuss about the equation of continuity and steady flow and tur uh, turbulent flow uh, up till now we have finished that and if you like our video you can subscribe our channel for more videos we have put all the video links in the description you can find all the links you can contact me for more details See you soon. Bye-bye.